I'm going to go ahead and uh, create a new world. Let's see, create survival, difficulty, normal. Yep, yep. One. Okay. All right. I'm going to go ahead and create it. And then what I'll do is it'll get us into a game, into a new world. So, uh, Hunter, what do you know about Minecraft? Not very much. Not very much, okay. Other than you have to build stuff, right? Or, or survival. Uh, it's, you have to survive, build things, and of course, from time to time, uh, escape walking skeletons and spiders. These are all true things, yeah. It's, uh, yeah. Go ahead and proceed there. Uh, yeah, it basically, it is, a, it is a survival game, although there is a creative mode that a lot of people like. And uh, I haven't spent too much time with, but you can you can build things. Uh, you don't have to, but it occasionally it will behoove you to build a shelter eventually. Um, which I think it took me a while to figure out how to do that in my other Minecraft series. Okay, so all right, cool. So I have nothing right now. See how the world just kind of pops in. Yep. Yeah. Right now I've got a locator map, and that's good. So I'm going to attempt to mine something. I'm going to see. So I'm just going to go for dirt first. Okay. Yeah, the trick is not to stand still for too long also, so <laughs> can't do that. Why right. why what happens if you do? Well, because eventually it's gonna be nighttime. Gotcha. So right now what I've got is I've got a block of dirt and I've also got, you know, uh, several rows at the bottom here, you can see of empty hand basically. Mm hmm I got this locator map, which is great because if I use it then it gives me my position in the world, which is on this upper left-hand corner. So Wrong. I can see that I'm next to water. You can kind of see that blue line going next to me there. Yes. Yeah, so how, how good is this picture? Is this like full screen to you? or? Yep, full screen. Awesome. So Hunter and I are trying a new thing. Um, it's been kind enough to indulge me on this idea that I had to try and uh, kind of do something outside of the uh, antisocial show and outside of Tyson Center Gamer, yet it would kind of promote each of these things in its own way. Uh, and recently I've been playing a lot of Minecraft lately. Eh, maybe not a lot. I've been playing some for my son. And I've been playing a separate game that I do on YouTube videos of. And uh, mm -hmm. each game is going very differently. Like, for example, in the game I play with my son, I have a garden and I have uh, animals that I'm taking care of. And, well, I'm breeding them at any rate. Um, and, uh, there, there you go. So now another thing, see how that kind of zigzag pattern right there? Mm -hmm. It's because of how everything is in this world is blocks. So like everything is a square, but eventually these blocks that grow up, oh, look, there's already grass growing back again. So a lot of these blocks, they have properties about them that are living. Like this grass wasn't always this tall. This is tall grass, but if I hit it, it goes away. But occasionally I'll see that happen. I'll just keep hitting grass and show you what I'm talking about. Oh, there you go. Drop some seeds. That's good. Seeds are useful. <laughs> so, at some point, I'll just keep doing this because I've got. There, good. Seeds are good because you can attract uh, chickens with them and you can breed chickens with them, but we're not really close to that part of the <laughs> being able to do that kind of thing and benefit from it. At this point yet. Right now we're just gathering resources to survive. In fact, one of the things we should be gathering uh, is wood because that's how we make our basic tools. So we spawned right next to a tree. So we're just going to go ahead and do this real quick and uh, since we don't have any tools at all we just kind of have to punch it with our hands. Ooh, this tree has a lot of branches on it. That's pretty cool. Oh, and there's more seeds. Nice. So, so yeah, it's kind of eating away at the, uh, the tree there. And now it's a piece of wood in my hand that I'm just sort of beating the rest of the tree with. Uh, I don't know if it makes a difference to do a bare hand versus a block of wood. Uh, now, let me ask you. Let yeah. me ask you this. Yeah, please. Um, so we're you're surviving in this environment, right? Mm -hmm. What is the ultimate? Uh, what is like the ultimate goal of like the overall oh, uh, game? Like other than survival? Yeah. Yeah. Well, part of the game is to figure out how the how the base how the pieces in the world interact with each other to get further in the world, and then ultimately, uh, there is a there is an uh, 
I'm saying underworld is a place called the Nether that's in a different dimension, right? And it's got okay. it's got its own set of problems and enemies and resources and whatnot. And then somewhere there is a place, I think it's called the End, and there's a creature called the Ender Dragon. And if you defeat the Ender Dragon, you've basically won the game. However, nice. there's a lot of stuff you can do along the way. And survival is one of the big big ones. So like you start off with really just literally like nothing, except in this case you start off with a locator map. And you kinda of have to figure out mm. how everything is made. So there's a crafting system, and hence uh Minecraft. And uh real quick here, let's see. Oh, what's that? Okay, already there's some oh, oh that's a cow. Okay, I thought it was thought it was something else. Okay, I'm gonna to try to do this quickly before the sun goes down. Let's see. I can't even see where the sun is, so that's problematic because it means it's probably really close to being down. See, now here's my crafting stuff. Right now I have, because of these things I have, it shows me what I can make. I can make coarse dirt, which I don't know what to do with that right now. I can make oak wood planks. Good. I need that. One log gives me four oak wood planks. You see how that uh, that's up there in the corner? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I can't point at it, but you can see it. Um, so I'll make the planks. So now with the planks, now I know that I can make sticks, right? Right. Okay. So I'm going to make some sticks. In fact, I'm going to use up my planks to make the sticks. Oh, I did. And I'm going to make a few more planks. Now, with the planks, I can also make a crafting table. See, that takes four planks, and i got a crafting table. So now you're probably asking, well, why would you make a crafting table? You can already craft things, right? Well, Correct. The thing is, to make a crafting table, you can craft stuff that you couldn't craft before. So, gotcha. There's my crafting table. And now I can make all this stuff if I have access to the materials. And... Uh, all this stuff. See, this shows me what I can already do in the gray, and this shows me what I can't do yet, but it shows me what it takes to make it. So, like, for example, there's gold bars and some sticks, and then I got myself a golden pickaxe. I can't make these things. However, I can make a wooden sword um, a, uh, and a wooden shovel. But what I really need is I need an axe and a pickaxe, so I will make more planks and make more sticks and then make a pickaxe, and then make, yeah, I, I'm not actually counting as I'm going here, so I haven't nailed all this down yet, but this is kind of an ongoing process, and then, uh, where is it, I got the hatchet, and the hatchet, okay, then now, what the axe will do is will help take down trees faster, um, and I've got stuff kind of backwards in my inventory, so I'm going to take a moment and sort this stuff, locator map, usually I put down at the end, I usually put the sword over here, pickaxe in this position, dirt, I usually put here. I keep the sticks outside because I don't need to be walking around with them right now until I need them. I don't I mean I don't I don't need them. Uh, that puts it quickly into the first slot available. I don't need the wood to have access to it. And then I have a shovel that uh, will sit there because I do not have a bow or a crossbow right now. I don't have a projectile weapon. So all I have is a sword. So you can see it has attack damage on it. It's plus four. That's not bad. Um, I'm going to go ahead and mine back this crafting table since I have all the tools I want at the moment, or the tools I need. I'm going to go ahead and just pick that up. So now it's a matter of where do I go next? I don't know why. I feel like, oh, okay. You can see the sun's moving now. See that? Uh, and like everything else, it's made of squares. It is made of squares. Right. Yeah, oh, so are the clouds. <laughs> yep. Everything's made of squares. Um, let's see. So now this should actually go a little bit quicker. Yeah, so you can, you can get you can mine wood quicker. And then as you're mining, the, the leaves will disappear. Um, so I do actually kind of have to hurry because nighttime is upon me. And let's see. Let's put, put some dirt here. So I can, yeah, that's a trick I learned, is that to put stuff directly underneath you so you can go higher up. Nice. Yeah. Oh, I'm still not high enough to get these last things here. Uh, not high enough in the air, I should say. And it looks like there are, gosh, there's a lot of wood. So this thing isn't going to disappear completely anytime soon. So I'm just going to go ahead and... Uh, punch back these play things, and then take this one wooden block. And then, <laughs> sun hasn't completely gone down yet, so I'm going to get away from this source of water. Move to around here, and then kind of, I uh, guess, make a little rudimentary shelter so I don't get 
uh, killed in the middle of the night. So you can replace blocks by you can mine blocks with the right trigger, and then you place blocks using the blocks. Did I say box? You mine box? You said box. Yeah. Maybe. I don't know. <sighs> so the whole so you have to build the shelter so that you don't get caught outside and, and ultimately get killed, essentially. Essentially, yeah, because right now there's no oh god, it's an Enderman. Okay. It's alright. Just don't make eye contact. Don't make eye contact. Okay. God, so is the Enderman kind of like the board collective if you don't like you know, uh peer threatening, they don't acknowledge you? It's kind of like that, yeah. Uh, they, yeah, as long as you don't make eye contact with them or or um, hit them, huh, then they generally don't engage, which is nice. So I'm just going to kind of build myself a little shelter, maybe put in a little window so I can see what kind of oh I'm out of dirt. Okay, well, do I have anything? Okay, well, you know what? Uh, maybe this is enough for now. It's high ground, certainly. Oh shoot. That's all right. That's okay. Did I, uh... And of course, Tyson is building a uh, a, a, a mud hobble. Yeah, it's yes, it is. Like in the old days. So let's see. Where is a good place to? You know, what I could do is I could dig down. Build a basement. Right. Something like that. And then, uh, yeah. Right, let's see here. So I can go up a little bit higher. Okay, so now there are these things in the game you may have heard of, you may not have, and they're called creepers. Does that sound familiar? Oh, there's a zombie. Okay, but they can't. Well, I heard, I heard of the zombies, but not the creepers. Okay, yeah. So the creepers, they're these green things that um, they basically look like. Um, well, they kind of look like green penises with faces. Green penises with faces. Yeah. I'm not sure why. I'm not sure why. I wonder what the it was. I wonder what was on the creator's mind when he came up with that. Well, it's, I don't know. I mean, they are kind of vaguely, for lack of a better term, they are kind of pinball shaped, which is so they're they're walking. Yeah, they are, and they are they are absolutely because what they do is if they get too close to you, uh, they explode and they blow up your stuff or you. Oh, that's. Or that's bullshit. Yeah, so you kind of have to, like, um, you have to kill them before they kill you. You definitely have to avoid them. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and build a roof uh, just to make sure that I'm uh, less of a less less able to um, take out. And you know, it's funny is by the time I'm done with this, oh, uh oh, okay, I fell too far over here. <laughs> um, let's go this way. Uh, before. Like, before I'm done doing this, it'll probably be daytime, but... Mm. Oh, okay. There's another couple spots here I can't fill in. See, like, the nighttime clouds are squares as well. Also, you know, if I do die right now, it's okay. It's just, you know, because I'm still kind of like... You, you, you can kind of, kind of plan on dying to figure out what you can and can't do in the game. So that's it's kind of like a part of uh, part of the learning curve. Is just doing stuff wrong. There's a lot of reasons why I kind of enjoy this game. You just sort of like figure stuff out. And that's that's a large part of the experience of playing Minecraft, is just figuring out what you're doing, what you should be doing, and how to do it. Now it's interesting, or at least it is kind of interesting. Oh, that's now now we're sealed in, but it's also very dark. And I do not have any I don't have any stone or anything, so since it's nighttime, I'm going to go ahead and just go to mine into the ground here and see if eventually I come across some. Uh, see if I come across some stone. If I come across you want to create? I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, you go ahead. You want to go ahead? Oh, okay. no, I was going to say, yeah, you might want to create light so you can see. Right. So I don't have any way to create light yet, but I will at some point. Uh, if I find coal, I can make light. But if I create stone, or if I find stone, which I did, here's some stone. So I'll mine the stone after I make some space and make sure that I can make space, because it's still pretty dark, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, that's probably a good amount. And then I will start mining this here. Now, if I were to mine this with my hand, it would just disappear. So I wouldn't be able to collect that, which was uh, cobblestone. So cobblestone is a 
um, is a great resource in this game. It's like it's it's one of the main resources, or stone is rather, in which you then make into cobblestone. So you can make houses out of this. You can make houses out of it. You can make you know all, a lot of parts like slabs and stairs and various things. You can make weapons out of it. So that's actually one of the first things generally people do. Also, is uh, let me go ahead and actually clear this out a little bit more too. Thing, funny thing is, I'm probably just going to completely abandon the structure once I've got things I want out of it, but uh, that's okay because that's a large part of what's going on is figuring out a good place to settle once you've figured out how to survive, <laughs> which uh, takes its own amount of time. And I'll just continue making uh, getting some stone here. I think it's, it's a lot of stone. Well, it's 13. 13 it seems like a lot, but it's it's not as much as it seems. Um, especially when you got a, when you have recipes that take like eight or nine stone at a time or something. So it's like, that's like half the stone I've collected. So I would need more. Also, if you want to make weapons out of it, you need, you need pieces for each, for each weapon. Uh, okay. See, so we've got kind of like a staircase to nothing up there. So since we've got a crafting table, we're going to go ahead and put that down here. And then I'm going to, uh, craft a wooden sword. <laughs> A wooden pick, uh, a stone, sorry, a stone sword, a stone pickaxe, a um, stone shovel, and a stone, whoops, nope, I didn't want to do that, a stone hatchet. Okay, and then I'm just going to go ahead and, uh, well, I can't I can't do anything about this, so I'm going to go ahead and move this here. A lot of this is about organization getting to stuff. Or not a lot, but a fair amount of this is so where did my did my stone sh sorry did my wooden shovel break did I drop it what happened I don't understand what I don't understand I don't see it in my inventory maybe broke could have broke well that's a thing too tools definitely do break so yeah oh okay no that's not it but this can well so this uh, will go here so I'll just try and use these up and then go to my other things uh, next so but the other thing is I have 11, uh, and I put my crafting table here. So what I'm also going to do is I can make a furnace now, right? Mm -hmm. So I just made a furnace. Now with the furnace, I can actually, um, I can use, okay, this is tricky. I can use, I can take one log, right? And uh, normally you use a furnace to like smelt metal or cook food. And I use mm -hmm. one log and it takes two sticks. You see there's a little light in here now because it just... This is why you want to have wood on hand because, oh, look at all that light now. Isn't that nice? Nice. Now, could, it is nice. I could build a campfire, but I'm not going to do that. Okay, so it looks like... Ah, and it makes charcoal. There. So now I can either dig for coal or I can take this charcoal that I can make, that I made, rather. And, and I can now I can make torches. I can make four per stick and charcoal, so I can make four. Boom. Just made four torches. I say boom all the time. You know who else says boom all the time now? Jareth. Two. <laughs> Jareth. <laughs> boom! There you guys. Boom. Which is, uh, boom. It's adorable. Okay, let's see here. Um, so yeah, so now I've got torches. And now, and you know, I don't even know, it might be daytime. I can't actually tell what time it is in game, but I'm going to put a torch up uh, here. Now, torches are great for not only lighting where you are, but they're also great for keeping uh, keeping monsters from spawning on the ground that they're near. Because if there's light in an area, enough light, monsters won't spawn on that. Uh, that are, uh, won't spawn. Well, if that's the case, if I was creating one of these, uh, if I was creating one of these uh, environment houses or whatever, I would be uh, lighting the whole damn thing up inside. Right. There, I'm going to make more charcoal because I need to make more torches. So that goes pretty quickly. You can see these sticks take no time to burn. You see that little bit, how the fire kind of like starts at full and then it like works its way down. Mm -hmm. I mean, there are better sources of fuel in the game, but this is like a really efficient way to make charcoal. Uh, and coal is, is a better fuel, but you don't need it to make torches. So there. Also, you get experience when you make certain things, which is nice. Right now, I don't know if you can see that, but below the hearts and the um, and uh, those things that look like kind of chicken drumsticks on the other side, mm -hmm. right? That's an experience points bar, which has no experience in it right now because I haven't um, gathered any experience. So let's see. 
Let's start torches. And we have enough, enough torches, I think. Um, and so I'm going to go ahead and uh, mine this back into my inventory because I think. Oh, let's see how slow that is. Yeah. Now, are you disassembling your? Fur oh, yep, you're disassembling the furnace. Yeah, it's just taking forever. It takes less time to take this one. There we go. Okay, so now also I'm going to really quickly move these things out of my. Uh, this is called the hot bar, basically. This this thing you can just switch between things quickly. Mm -hmm. Inventory and hot bar. You probably played this game with something with a hot bar before, I imagine. Oh, of course. Yeah, so you know. So. All right, so yes. let's see here. Let me, uh, I don't even remember what direction I built this thing in. So let's see. Uh, okay, it's daytime. All right, good. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to plop that down there. Okay, I'm going to plop this down here. There we go. I'm going to put a torch here so I can see this at a distance or recognize it if I ever come back this way, which I may or may not do. And now I'm going to continue surviving because I may actually have to um, utilize uh, this during the... It's, it's hard to say if I'm going to have to use it then. Okay. Oh, there's a big mountain over there. So there's also... So there's all these different what they call biomes in this game. Oh my gosh. We spawn next to a ravine. Okay. Ooh. Well, that's useful. Oh. oh. Hi, Cal. You know what? That's the other thing. I hate to do this, but... Um, that, you got to kill it? Yeah, I need the food. I need to go. Oh, look at that. See, I got experience for doing that. So now you can see the bar has got kind of a light green area. Yeah, it's a bummer, but it's a circle of life. And also you get leather. <laughs> so, uh, oh, and also charcoal. That's the other thing. In order to make a fire, I need charcoal. I need no, a campfire. Uh, so, wow. Okay. Okay, so there's a, a basic cave. Now, you see how it's kind of lit up down there? Mm-hmm. Yeah, what's that light source, do you suppose? Oh, uh, oh, look, you see that? Yes. There's a spider down there. It's one of those. Now, the light source, could that be like uh, from like precious stones, perhaps? It could be. Well, lava? Guess. Yeah, it's probably lava. It's most likely it's lava. Okay, good. So he dropped a string. So, yeah, my guess is lava. Um, wow. So I didn't realize we'd be so close to resources. We, we might... Uh, we build might, here. We might build here. I could just hit this. Just kind of okay. More seeds. More seeds. That's good. Seeds. 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 Thing is, we're gonna have to make sure we don't fall down into either of these things. So let's see, because these are just bottomless pits here. Oh no, no, there's, they're they're not. This. This is. I gotta peek out over the edge here. It's a ways down there. And it looks like there's water down there on that side, and there's definitely coal. Um, but i got to make something to signal that there are things nearby, so I'm going to give a little visual indicator that there's something here, and there's something here. And also, this way, monsters won't spawn in the area there. So I guess the question is, what, would I, what should I do next? Should I just gather as much dirt as I can? So I can build more to my dirt house and before I replace it with stone? Maybe. Probably. Can you live inside caves? You can. Yeah. As long as you can close stuff off uh, from the outside world at will, uh, it's usually... Mm. For example, I should really... Um, I have wood, but, I, you know, you, you, trees, by the way, are also a renewable resource in the game, so if you start running out of trees, you can save their, you can, when you, when you get rid of a tree completely, it drops like saplings usually, usually it will, and then you can replant them. So this one, because it's got all these little branches, like often a tree is really just literally like a log going straight up in the air and then branches around it. There aren't all these extra little, not branches, but like leaves. These are, these blocks, these green blocks are technically leaves and these sideways logs are branches. <laughs> Um, let's see here. Let's see if I can get some. Yeah, see that hole there? That hole in the dirt? Like the Enderman probably yes. took. <laughs> that's probably the Enderman. <laughs> probably took that, that block because they just like moving blocks around. They're weird. 
and they are uh, they are not friendly. Well, they're they're not they're not hostile unless you provoke them. Hmm. See, I, was, I think I'm spending. So, like the board from Star Trek. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it looks like I've got some explaining to do. No, I've got uh, some. I have a sapling there. It looks like yes got an oak sapling so I'm gonna go ahead and just put that uh, you know, plant the tree over here I'm gonna find another tree that I can just have drop stuff there so because that's uh, is giving me this is this is a problem like I can't find mm -hmm. the branches in the tree otherwise so I'm just gonna have this leaf cloud sitting there and by a problem it's not game breaking it's just it's kind of like you're not supposed to leave trees floating um, but I don't know why. Well, yeah. I don't oh, know. <laughs> I was gonna, I was gonna, I was gonna say why. That's a great question. I wish I knew. I just, it's one of the things like when the game loads up, it sometimes it has little bits of advice for you. And mm. One of them is never leave trees floating. Or, or you know, it's like, well, why? Why should I leave <laughs> tree floating? What's, what's kind of, what's kind of did, did you, did you ever try to just tempt fate and just find out? Well, it looks like we're kind of doing that now. In a way, so it's probably nothing, but um, it's probably just rude. All right, let's, okay, so wooden axe. It looks like a wooden axe is almost uh, gone, too. Usually, when it's done, it'll make a crunching noise. There's a bunch of different types of wildlife in the game, mm -hmm. and uh, not all of it's friendly. Okay, so there, we punched a hole right through the center of that tree. So, all those leaves on the outside, let me look around, make sure nothing's coming up to bite me. All these will eventually just start disappearing, and they'll be dropping sticks, maybe apples. They'll be dropping saplings, theoretically. And that's all good. Okay, good. So this is a nice area that's got a bunch of different animals going on, or a decent amount of animals. And it's got it's got a big ravine here, which, by the way, I don't know. Did we ever find the side of this puppy? I don't think so. Okay, so there's my house. Oh, okay. There we go. So let's see. Let me see if it's on our locator map. Uh, kind of. Yeah, okay. Okay, so it looks like it goes... There's water, too. A source of water, and that's good. Oh, and I see some iron ore. Okay, so I should definitely be digging down. Well, I'm, I'm at... Okay, see where on the upper left-hand corner of the screen where it says position and then some numbers? Yes. The middle one tells me how high up I am. Like, uh, up and down. So like if I like it says sixty nine, if I go down to here, sixty eight, et cetera, et cetera, it'll just keep going down. So I'm at level sixty nine now because I've gone back up, and this one over here should be level seventy. You see? Yes. Yeah. So if you go down to like level fifteen and below, or really it's more like level twelve and below, you can find diamonds. But somewhere between here, oh, there's a sapling. Yay! So now we have the sapling in that we can put in our inventory, and eventually we'll be making a lot of boxes. And I, I really should be getting more wood. Keep Keep stopping getting wood because I'm not thinking about it. But if it's wood, I can make boxes. If I can make boxes, I can make something to store stuff in. And I, oh, you hear that? Yes. Yeah. Be interesting to see how much of the sound is coming through literally on uh, <clears throat> on your on your end there. Um, so the ravine stops. That's another thing. Where do we, what is that? Looks like it might be a horse. Uh, oh, there we go. Okay, so there's the edge of the ravine. Now, because this is so innocuous, like it just comes out of nowhere, I'm going to have to kind of like put some very distinct torch kind of visual patterns here so I don't accidentally run into this in the middle of the night or ignore that it's there. Or, you know, just, you know what I mean? Like, I, I know what you mean. I don't want to fall off into that. I mean, I don't have a place to respond yet, so it's not a good thing if I do. But... So one thing I can do is I can make a bed, and if I make a bed, I can respawn in one location. In order to make a bed, I need wool. In order to get wool, I need a sheep. Now, I either need to kill the sheep and hope there are other sheep around to kill, or if I could get a bit of iron, I can make shears, and I could shear the sheep, and that grows back, and that's a renewable. Um, yeah, I was going to say, can't you just shave its ass? Could shave its ass. Uh, it is definitely, <laughs> uh, it's definitely a, a thing of it is doable. In fact, also I'm going to uh, kill this chicken here so I can um, hopefully get a feather and some chicken. 
Oh, yep, there's some raw chicken. Good. Okay. Well. Oh, and the sun's going down. The sun is going down. Yes, you see that. Okay. So let's see here. So um, I've got wood, which means I can make more charcoal, which means I'm going to attempt to make a. Um, I'm going to attempt to make a. Uh, what's it called? A campfire. And I'm, since I don't. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and seal this off. So I don't have to worry about it, but be, but then afterwards, okay. So I'm going to go ahead and try and do this as quickly as possible because so I can get to the thing. So you kind of see what this is, um, how it sort of cumul accumulates what you're supposed to do. Uh, yes. And you kind of like you get you know you get one thing to get the next thing, and then you mm -hmm. combine things to get other things, and then eventually you can do uh, you can eventually you can do enchanted objects, which is fun, and. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put a torch in here so I can just see because what's the point of being in the dark right now? And um, let's see. So, there, campfire. So, in order to make a campfire, I need three sticks, which I guess I don't have three sticks right now. I need one bit of charcoal and three logs. I have plenty of logs. I have no sticks. I'm going to make some sticks. I need sticks, I need planks. There's, mm. there's, now I have four sticks. Perfect. Except I also need charcoal, so I'm going to make more sticks. So I can. Uh, okay, I only need one charcoal, so that's one log, and two sticks to make one bit of charcoal. There you go. So you get you get the idea. I get the idea. Yeah. What do you think? No, it sounds it's it's it looks pretty cool. I'm gonna actually uh, I'm gonna go download it on my Apple TV and uh, play it because I got one of those. Uh, Remote controls, like the uh, oh god, I sound like an old person. I have one of those gamer, uh, I have one of those ga gamer controllers that um, I can I can use for my Apple TV. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go download it for the uh, TV in the living room. Cool. Okay. So I've got and play it. Yeah. Campfire here. Uh, I'm gonna make a little room here because uh, I want to build a campfire, but what I don't want to do is accidentally walk into it and it's kind of crowded or close down here so hopefully oh there we go there's some coal that's good that'll come in handy when i uh, want to smelt some iron and make better tools yeah so like that's the other thing is you need better tools to make things and i cannot like if i come across diamonds i cannot use a stone pickaxe to mine them it just won't. Mm. It just won't work. It'll basically it'll drop nothing. And, I will, and diamonds are very rare, so you don't want to spend all that um, those resources. Uh, you don't want to burn those resources. Oh, good. There's more coal. Well, I picked a pretty good spot to start uh, to start my shelter so far. It's got food nearby. It's got it's got a ravine nearby. It doesn't have like a. Doesn't look like it has like a a river. Or it does, and I'm just not close to it. I think that's what I, the blue thing I saw on the map was um, the ravine, but I don't know. Okay, so that's a pretty good amount of space. If I just put it in the corner, I should be able to avoid stepping in it. One would think. All right, let's actually... <laughs> I don't trust myself to not accidentally step in the fireplace if it's not set off on the side here even more. Like It literally needs to be somewhere where it be. There, okay, there we go. Boom. There. Now we have a, a, a thing to cook the food in that's free. Because it takes fuel to cook stuff, food in the furnace, but it takes only fire to cook it here. So I'll put it down. Oops, wrong one. And then put that down and those will cook. It takes a little bit to cook them. In the meantime, I'm going to continue mining and then and use up this pickaxe. So I can move to the better pickaxe, etc. 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 And then eventually. Oh, okay. So now there's my pickaxe is gone. Well, this it's a better one. Ah, see, it already takes less time to mine. This. Do you see that? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's something. So now every time you mine coal, almost every time, mm -hmm. you get there. There's a good experience points. So you get experience points for a lot of things in the game, which is good because you need those to eventually um, pay for things like enchantments, which 
open up a whole other level of gameplay because you can enchant tools and armor and all sorts of stuff. You can make armor. Like, I can't make armor until I have metal. Um, so I'm basically vulnerable until I come, up, come across iron ore, etc., etc. Yeah? So there's all these things to consider. Um, I mean, so far it looks like a pretty cool game. Yeah, um, it's definitely got its appeal. Uh, it took me about 10 years yes. before I decided to try playing it, so... Uh, <laughs> and I think that's how long it's been for me, too, because uh, didn't this game, didn't Minecraft come out a while ago? It came out in, like, 2011, I think. 2010 or 2011. It's, it was a while ago. Uh, it was created by uh, somebody, a uh, person, and then it was bought by uh, Microsoft, which is why I have it on the Xbox One. But you can also get it on PC, you can get it on Android get a mobile version and I guess you can get it under Apple uh, I think I guess you can get it on iOS is actually what I wanted to say which I was not aware of but why not yes it should be on anything you play it on I'm not a big fan of playing it on mobile yet because I really don't like I don't like trying to fiddle with touch controls because this there's some kind of like depending on the game there are some real kind of like f not fiddly but there's some just sort of precise uh, control mm -hmm. needed, I think, I feel, to be comfortable playing um, Minecraft, because there are situations where you just need to run away, and like, I like having a joystick. Okay? Oh, no, mine would have a joystick. Yeah. Um, I'm just, so, yeah. the controller for the iOS, mm -hmm. uh, Essentially, it looks like well, it's not. I mean, it's not. It's not built by Apple or anything like that. But essentially, it looks like a um, an Xbox controller. Nice. Essentially, is it like an eight, yeah. an eight bit do or something like that or do or uh, it's, uh, something similar? And uh, you you it's it's paired to the uh, Apple TV, and you can get uh, games off of it, and you can play. Cool. And one of the games that was on there was Minecraft. So I think I'm going to uh, give it a college try. It's worth it. Uh, it's pretty neat. What I should do, actually, once I'm able to make a bed, which I think I should be able to do pretty soon, I think my goal should be to make a bed. Um, and I'll, again, I don't know what time of day it is at the moment. Oh, we found iron. Wrong. Okay. Nice. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty. That's pretty huge. Uh, and my health bar hasn't gone down at all. So, okay, I'm creating a bit of a problem for myself because I need to. I need to relocate this fireplace. Oh, but thankfully I can just put it out in the corner. I wonder if it'll, yep, it'll just load in there. So it takes a while to mine the fireplace. You kind of see it's very slowly breaking. And in fact, I think it will break it down to its parts. Yeah, it, that's what happens. So, but that's okay, because I need to put, I need to kind of remove it from, uh, from this area here. In fact, you can see my stone pickaxe is almost gone. So you basically have to create new tools as they wear down. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Yep. And there it goes. I don't have another stone pickaxe, but I do have a crafting table. And, and, and I know where this is in here, so I just go, boop. And there we go. We're back in business. Yeehaw. Uh, we're making up room. I'm going to make this. Uh, now, here's where it gets tricky, too. I'm going to make this. Um, what am I trying to say? This. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm trying to say. Um, cool. This, uh, oh, you know what it is? I'm looking at my inventory. I've got my, my stuff's all kind of messed around here. So I got a lot of coal. Let's put this cobblestone. I'm hearing music. Which means something's going on. Maybe. Boom. Okay, got some light. I'm going to go ahead and put the, put the fire. I guess I can put it in this corner. That'd be safe. But I have to remake it again because I broke it apart. Now that's not that's not true of everything. Oh, you know what I need? I need sticks. So I do not have planks or sticks, so I cannot make a fire. So I'm gonna. You should uh, make a fireplace. Uh, the, well, the campfire is pretty much the closest thing you get to a fireplace in this game. No, I mean like in the wall, like create like a fireplace type structure inside the wall, oh, and then place it in there. Yep. That's, that's not a bad idea. I don't know if that's possible. 
I mean, like, I, it is possible, but I don't know if it's, uh, if it's, if the, the fireplace, if the campfire needs to be, to have open air or not. I'm not sure. But I'm definitely going to put it in the corner, and then I can always build around it if I need to. So, I'm not even hungry yet, so that's cool. Um, but, I do need, oh, uh, oh, I need to make more torches. Because I ran out. <laughs> and I need to go outside. So let's see here. Now, if I were to go to the crafting table, this would tell me what I what I would need to make a bed, to make any bed. So I would need I need three wool and three planks. I have four planks, so I'd either need to kill three sheep or two sheep, because sometimes they drop one wool and sometimes they drop two wool, <laughs> and uh, I don't know which it is. Oh, and the other thing I should make by the way, is that I can make a... where is it? Come on. Maybe I can't make it yet. Um, nope, I don't have enough planks. Make a couple more planks. One, two, three. There's more than a couple. And uh, now I can make a door. Well, of course, I make two doors. And, you know what? I need a box. So now I can take a box. So now, I'm going to... Uh, See, I've done this. I've done some version of this a couple of times already. So there's like a certain amount of expectation I have of how to make certain things or what to do with them. <clears throat> and now I have a place to put all this extra stuff that's in my inventory that I don't really have a use for right now, including saplings. Um, this coal, I have charcoal, so I'm good for making stuff out in the field. I'm not going to need all three of these doors right now. I'm gonna put one door here. I guess I'll just kind of. Yeah, you definitely want a door. There you go. Perfect spot for it. Boink. There we go. Hello. Boom. It's uh, raining. It's raining. That's okay, though. So now I've got. Uh, and I can still see this. That's good. Now I've got the. Uh, it's quite easier. Good. Now I can expand this. You know, it doesn't have to be so far out in the ground, but uh, I would sh so this is the other thing too. Now, during the daytime, most of the monsters will, um, like the zombies and the skeletons will catch fire and and, and, and disappear, basically. But, mm. um, oh, wait, what am I doing? I have, I have iron ore. I don't have to kill the sheep. Good Lord. See, this is the other thing. I didn't. Wasn't sure if talking about it and doing it at the same time would make me forget things, but it's okay. It's all right. Um, it's okay, man. Oh, okay, that's not good. New nope. draining in your house. Well, that's not the part I'm worried about. It's whatever can come through the hole other than the rain. That too. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's all right. You know, I'll just. I, it's fine that I. That it looks like I'm going to hit my head. I'm not actually hitting my head, so I shouldn't be worried about that. Also, I'm not literally hitting my head in real life either. Which is the other. <laughs> um, I think that would be a blessing. Yeah. Okay, so I need to make. I need to mine this. Um, I assume that cause this could be copper. I hope it's not copper. Oh no, it might be copper. If it's copper, I don't know what I can make with it. I don't know if I can make a copper. Um, whatever it was I was going to make with the other thing. Shears. I don't know if I can make copper shears. It's raw copper. Okay, well, let's. Let's put the copper in the furnace. Well, I don't know if I can smelt. I can smelt it into ingots. I'm going to assume it's the same exchange rate as um, iron, which is eight per one coal. I have charcoal, but I'm going to use one of the coal because charcoal doesn't. I don't know if charcoal burns things as long as coal does, or cooks them as long as whatever. Coal. Okay, so that's going to do its thing, and then I'm going to lament that I don't, I'm going to, I don't know if, I, if it's a good thing or a bad thing that I've got copper. I know the copper is used for stuff in the game, but I don't know that it's used for what I need it for. <laughs> so that's kind of like, uh, that's a lot of the experience of the game, too, is kind of going, okay, what can I do? What can't I do? And then just kind of like being okay with not doing things right a lot of the time, and Sometimes finding incredible things out. 
what I should do before um, before we're done here is show you mm. the world that I've created for Jareth, uh, with Jareth. That he's uh, watching me play. In fact, he will request that I play. So I point at the nice. thing and go, mine. And then he can't say k yet. He can't say craft, but he's, he works mm-hmm. on it. So he'll say, crap. Okay, let's see. Is that going to work? Looks like the fire is almost gone here. Is that enough to cook the last ingot? And also, I should be getting some experience for cooking these ingots, so it's not all a bad thing, and it's not what I was hoping for. It can work out. Good. It is eight. Just, yay. Oh, I'm at level four now. You see, there's a four between the thing. So, nice. What can I make? I cannot make, I cannot make, oh, wait, I know I'm not at a crafting table. Okay. Uh, wooden sword, stone sword, stone axe. Nope. I don't have, there's no copper, what? What is this? Spyglass. Okay, that's not helpful. Um, and I'll make these things. Nature, make a copper block probably. What do I want to do with a copper block? Okay, so, okay, so not a great thing. I, I, copper is used for something, I'm sure it's useful, but it's not a help to me at the moment, so I'm just gonna put up a uh, there and then actually go and get yep. the iron ore. Oh well, but in the meantime, you know what that means. They gotta kill me Back machine. outside? Yep. 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 Unfortunately. Hopefully. And right now, dear listener or dear viewer, uh, copper is worthless. Well, yeah, it's not. It's certainly not as useful as uh, iron is. It might eventually be. It might even be more useful in some circumstances, but not in my current circumstances. So that's unfortunate. But it's not the worst thing. Also, the other thing is, if I want to get lower in this ravine which is, uh, let's see, all the way across here. So in relation to my house, if I start digging from my house this way, underneath, eventually I'll pop out on the side of this ravine here, and then I'll be able to get slightly lower into the world, and that might might be useful. Don't know, but... Can you have multiple houses? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you can have as many as you want, but you can only have one spawn point. So Gotcha. That's what I want. That's my goal is to get a spawn point with by making a bed. Okay. Sorry, sheep. But I did also get some food from you. Okay, so that's one block of wool. Sorry, sheep. Oh, well. well Say yeah. la vie. Say la vie. La vie. La vie. All right. Looking over here. Also, where's my house? Yeah, lamb chops are pretty good. Where's my house? Your house is behind you, dude. Keep turning, keep turning. Oh, right there. Dead ahead. Okay. Oh, okay. I can barely yep. see it. Um, I'm pretty far from it. Yeah. All right. That's gonna be. That's gonna be a problem. So maybe I should. I should light up the area a little bit more. That way I'll be able to see it in the distance. And also hopefully it'll keep those pesky spawning. Creatures away. Because skeletons uh, are no fun. And they shoot arrows at you. Oh, lovely. Yeah. Um, however, if you can vanquish them, which is not impossible, uh, you can get... Oh, there's a body of water. Oh, that's fantastic. Okay. So I can fish. So now if I can fish, I can get fish. I can get fish. I can eat fish. And I can eat fish. Then once I get... And so that means I, have a, I do have a source of water. That's great. And, oh, there's a drought. Can you go swimming? You can. You can. Although I don't necessarily want to at the moment. Well, I don't think I can get down to here. I can definitely sink and I can swim. But, like, um, there's there's bad guys under the water here. They're called, oh, there's also Not good. Fish. There's also fish. And you can, you can drown, which is not good. Oh, got some bones. All right. Some air back. Okay, so I got some bones. I didn't know that would happen. Uh, bones are good for growing crops. Did I get a, I got a bone. Nifty. I didn't know that you could. Oh, it's getting dark. 
I don't know if you can get a bounce from fish. I mean, in the game. I know the fish have bones, but hmm. interesting. Okay. Oh, I can see. You see that? You see that my food bar is starting to twitch a little bit? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it means that I'm not fully sated anymore, but I need to worry about um, eating. eating. <sighs> Just looking around for a sheep. Now there's different modifiers you can do for the game. Like I could have, I could have started with a chest that had stuff in it that might have been useful to me. But I figured I'd want you to see what the basic survival. You better get inside your house, dude. Yeah, mode actually looks like. Oh, I think I saw a skeleton. Yeah, is over there where my ex is beyond the pig is I think a skeleton. Looking around, but you know what I need is I do need, I do need a. To, to kill at least one spider to get another string because if I get, I think it's one or two strings instead of luck in that thing. Also, hopefully nobody spawned in here while I was gone. You know, I think I managed to keep the area lighted up. Uh, lit, 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 lighted? Lit up. Oh, you can come home and find, like, uh, bad guys in your house and shit? You absolutely can, yes. Yeah. And that, that, that can be that can be a hassle. Now, yep. Now I can save the game right now, and it shouldn't. It won't be a problem that I don't have a bed because I haven't died yet. So it'll just it'll save and it'll it'll bring me back exactly where I am. Mm -hmm. But if I go if I don't have a bed and I go away and I die, then oh, there my health bar is down a little bit, so I'm gonna use some chicken. There, mm -hmm. okay. Makes a little crunch, 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 burp. Yeah, burp, burp. Okay, so I also got a chicken here that I should probably cook, so I'm going to do that. And raw chicken. So, um, so I'm going to go ahead and quit this and show you Okay. We'll show you one of the other worlds that I've got uh, going on uh, that I'm playing for Jareth after the, cook, after the chicken uh, does its thing. There we go. So now if you want to do more of these, if you work well, here, I'll show you what the potential is. Okay, so this is the, the uh, going to be the um, world that I play with my kid, and it's very different. You can kind of see the potential of where you can get to in the game, but it, you can get well beyond this. So I'll give you kind of a little tour, a tour, because nobody else has seen this yet. See, I've got this this room here. There's my bed. Oh, that's pretty cool. There's a bunch of chests there. I'm working on making this a checkerboard carpet, but there's a carpet in here to keep things from spawning. I've got an anvil. Uh, I've got a box here that has nothing in it because I lost a box over here because I came home and there was a creeper in my house and it got a bunch of my stuff. It's like a bunch of my stuff. Uh, there's redstone is an important thing. Things that are called phantoms. There's a bucket of milk. There's an emerald. I have no diamonds. Flint and steel. There's that's what I want is shears, but I can't I can't transfer things between profiles. Uh, here's my furnace. Here it is things that you recognize because you've seen before. This is a cauldron that has water in it. That can be useful mm. for things that I can't determine yet. This was a staircase that went up into the next room that I had to close off because I needed... Oh, can you hear that? Yes. Something's out there. Okay, it's daytime. There we go. So then... Ah, you're, you're, you you have farm. I was going to say that. Can you, like, farm animals and stuff like that? Yep. So here's my pigs. All right. Nice. Here's my chickens. They lay eggs and you can pick them up. And eggs can be used to make other types of food. And you can also throw them at things, but I haven't done that yet because I don't know what the benefit would be. Here's cows, a bunch of cows, and here's a bunch of sheep. So this would be my source of wool um, normally. And no. you can see some of them have already been sheared recently, too. Now, now how do you how do you uh, rope these animals into the different pins? Oh, well, that's, that's okay. So let me see if I have anything in my inventory that would be an example of how to do that. Nope. I'm not carrying anything at the moment. So what you would do is like, if you, they are attracted to various things that you find in the world. So let me uh, give you an example. Let's get these eggs here. Um, okay, so, so remember there's how I was saying your uh, seeds were a component in the game. Mm -hmm. So um, ducks wrong are attracted to seeds. Right? Okay. And 
cows and sheep are attracted to wheat, and pigs are attracted to potatoes. So, Ooh. I'll go outside right now, and right now they don't see them, but because I'm not right now, I'm not holding it. I've got a sword and I've got a shield. In fact, uh, I go like this. You can see I look different. I've got armor, even though mm -hmm. most of my armor is almost gone. But you can see that. <sighs> so if I like these are my potatoes, they're pretty much ready to harvest. So what I do is I harvest and then grab a fully grown plant will give me like two potatoes. So I grab one, plant one, grab one, plant one, grab one, plant one, grab one, plant one. Now I've got nine potatoes that I can store and then nine more growing. Okay, so right now they're not really paying attention. See that? Yes. Yeah. Uh, in fact, this is a bad example because I don't have a potato in my hot bar. Okay, these ducks are kind of like, hey, yeah, they're kind of doing their own thing. They see me, but they're not ducks. They look like ducks. They're chickens. But if I bring the seeds out, boink, now they're interested. Look at that. Nice. Yeah. Now if I give if I give seeds to two of them, this one and this one, now they'll pair off and they will create a duckling. There's little ducklings. Or they're not ducklings, they're, they're chicks. Little chickens. Little chickens. So now if I want to make more cows, see that? They're like, oh, look. Mm -hmm. you know, the, the ducks are like, yeah, whatever. But the cows are like, oh, me, 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 me. So you... And you. You know what's you know what's crazy? What's that? About ten minutes up the road, you, you can actually there's a store called Tractor Supply and you could you could buy chickens. Cool. Like if if I wanted to, I could buy chickens if I wanted to. Like little little baby uh chickens. Little baby chickens. Oh, there we go. We got more little little sheep as well. Cool. So you can buy yeah, you can also send them the US mail. So there's my shelter in this game. Wow. Yeah, it's because it's very different, and I've got some sky bridges. Like this one isn't finished, and neither is that one, but I've got one behind the house, and then I've got one going out that way. Ah, so you made that all from, uh, from stone, I see. Yeah, it's all cobblestone. And this, nice. in fact, uh, there is an area over here that one of the reasons why I decided to make this, this the area where I'd start building my house, which was much smaller to begin with, because there's lava nearby, and lava is a great, is a useful resource uh, for Ooh. making various things, including, remember I told you there was an alternate dimension in this game? Yes. Uh, in order to, so now, this is wheat, by the way, the growing. Nice. Yeah. And there's, uh, these are trees up there. You sound like you had a question. Yes. So, what do you have to do to, uh, to get to said alternate dimension, do you have to uh, find the Book of the Dead, perhaps? That's a good question. You have to build one of these. <laughs> An interdimensional portal. Yeah, this is called a nether portal. So these nice. are these are built with obsidian. In order to make okay. obsidian, you have to make water interact with lava in a very specific way. Because, uh -huh. because if you make it, if it interacts in a different way, then it, you'll just make cobblestone. Because water plus lava makes cobblestone. Unless you unless you pour it over the top in a specific way, and then you can make obsidian. Now, you can't mine obsidian unless you have a diamond pickaxe. So, as you might be able to see, there's like a whole kind of, there's a progression. So, like, the reason why I have that nether portal is because I found diamonds, basically. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, to start a garden, I actually started with these pumpkins. And these pumpkins are really easy to, to farm. You just kind of, you take a pumpkin, you turn it into seeds, you till the soil with a hoe, which I don't think I have a hoe in my inventory right now. But you make a hoe, and then you um, you make spots, and then you plant in those spots. Like, these are all specific spots. In there. Down by the river here, uh, uh, yeah. down by the river, I've got uh, sugar cane growing. I, I just want to let you know that my, my wife is going to be very upset with you right now. <laughs> Why is that? Because the last time this happened to me, I uh, it was, um, which in fact I was just playing a little while ago, it was Fortnite. Oh, okay. But I play the I, I play the creative uh, uh, mode, mm -hmm. and I've created quite a few uh, like you know Fortnites and stuff like that. But I can get lost for hours. And now, <laughs> after you showing me all this, I'm definitely going to be lost playing Minecraft. So you know, well, that'll be fun to hear about. Maybe you'll be making your own videos <laughs> of them eventually. That'd be cool. Absolutely, absolutely. Here's an enchantment table. As you can see, it's got bookshelves behind it. You can see these little figures that are going into there. Ha! <laughs> I knew it. The Book of the Dead. Well, this is, yeah, so this is what you enchant objects with. Unfortunately, I don't have any lapis lazuli because I lost them in the Great Creeper explosion. Lapis lazuli are blue stones that you use the enchanting table with. And then, uh, 
Oh, I, I didn't even show you what the. Okay, so yeah, I, I don't know why I did that. Sorry. Uh, so yeah, so this is a, a level, and then let's well, see. I put carpet on every inch of this floor as well. And so, oh, yeah. you get carpet by wool, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but because I have a bunch of sheep in there, I can just they the wool goes back, so I don't have to kill them. So now, and then I've got these uh, the staircase that takes me up here. And this looks out over there. Actually, I will. Well, I'll go ahead and watch this. So you see, there's my I'm building this. There's my farm down there. The pigs and sheep and various uh, very cool chickens. I keep wanting to call them ducks. You can see the lava up here. There's some sheep running free there. And at nighttime, this place is filled with you know monsters and whatnot. So I always mm -hmm. try to keep these doors closed yeah. when I go out. Uh, and it's it's you can see these torches because I don't want to take the 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 risk of of losing all my stuff, or not all my stuff, but losing a good portion of my stuff. Again. And how far do these sky bridges go, you might wonder? Well, um, they kind of go across the world, but they're not, they're not too far, but they do go a fairly good distance. And you can see also the sun's going down. Now, if I guess that's an easier way to travel because, you know, if you can get, stay on your sky bridge, you can go back to your house. Well, let's see, these things Brilliant. have been going up and down the terrain, but it also gives me something to do with the extra cobblestone, and it gives me reasons to like use up the resources and kind of do something cool. Plus, it's it's just kind of something cool to look at, because it looks like I'm building the Dark Tower, sort of. <laughs> yeah, it does. Yeah, it still goes out here. And now they've added something to these games. It's something called Caves and Cliffs, and uh, I don't know if goats were... Uh, hello. I don't know if goats were part of that, but I was out here, and I'm making the... I'm laying down the, 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 the dirt and whatnot, and then something hits me. And I turn around, and it's a goat. A goat <laughs> rammed me, basically. So I'm going to go ahead and head back. Uh-oh, what is that? Oh, that is a zombie villager. A shit head. It's all right. I got him. Trying to get experience points. Okay. So I'm just going to go ahead and go back to the world here, because I don't want to screw anything up while, uh, while I'm not playing for Jareth. <laughs> <laughs> well, I thought it'd be kind of fun to show you kind of the, the potential of, you know, and this isn't even as elaborate as stuff gets in Minecraft. This is just like, I decided I needed more space to put my stuff and I wanted to something to like stretch out across the world. So I started building bridges and this actually started off as literally like a stone house and then like a spire with the campfire on top, which you can see is up there. So there's a campfire nice. on top there and that was all there was. And then I just built everything around there. I took all the corners I had and built upwards and then filled in the filled in the uh, things with the cobblestone, uh, Bob's your uncle, and now I've got this structure. But, 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 did you say Bob's your uncle? I did say Bob's your uncle. I do have an Uncle Bob and a cousin Bob. You're like, Bob's your uncle. Like, that was kind of like a, you know, I don't know why that's funny to me, but that's kind of like, um, like an insult. Like, you know, if you were to like get into like a verbal altercation with somebody, like, well, you know what? F you, Bob's your uncle. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's funny. Yeah, I hadn't thought about uh, that. Oh, the other thing you can do is you, when you have a bed, you can sleep through the night. So not only does it s set your respawn point, but after a while, after like three days, if you don't sleep, phantoms come after you. Oh, shit. Phantoms are like giant purple bats, and they are uh, <laughs> they're pieces of crap. They're, oh, and I just, <laughs> they're pieces of crap. Yeah, they hit you, and they do a lot of damage. I'm going to need to make another helmet, but I'm not going to do that now. I'm going to do it. Go ahead and save and quit. There you go. And um, <laughs> Bob's your uncle. I, I like that. That was hilarious. Bob's your uncle. Uh, it's a, it's a, I don't know. Get out of my face. It's like a British expression, I think. I, I don't know. It's, I have people saying that. Oh, uh, uh, should... Mike. Bob's your uncle. All right. <laughs> Up your ring piece. Up your ring piece. All right. So now. That little that little porthole to the nether region, uh, region, uh, region, can you have put that in your house? You can't. That... But you're afraid that something might come out of it. No, it's it's not so much that as that uh, when you go through the nether portal, the uh, error sort it takes about four seconds to like, uh, maybe four seconds seems long. It takes a, it seems like about four seconds to, to like transfer over into the, uh, into the, into the nether. That's what it's called. So, and there's usually fire on the other end of it. And I just, yeah. I don't know if it makes too much difference where specifically you put your first portal, because I, mm. I haven't really played enough or made enough portals in game to to tell. Like for, I had actually made that portal that you saw in another part. I made it closer to my house, mm -hmm. and it seemed to take me to exactly the same spot in another. So it could just be like 
it could be that space is allotted differently in the nether than it is in the overworld, is what the main area is called. This the area we were running around in is called the overworld. So yeah. Nice. Um, so yeah. So you you have to survive in the overworld, survive in the nether world to get to the other place to fight the dragon. That is correct. Yeah, basically. Gotcha. You, you haven't in any time you've got all these other these you know, there's villagers, there's villages and villagers, you know. I haven't I haven't found a village yet, but and and many of the villagers have their own specific jobs. Like there's librarians and I think there's tool makers, there's there's a uh, there's a um, traveling merchant that comes through that if you're lucky enough to find lots of emeralds you can buy specific resources from him. But I don't really see the I don't really see the use in in using emeralds for getting the things that he has unless it's very specific at this point yet because emeralds are so scarce I can't imagine it like wanting to give them up for like a glow dust block or whatever you can get for them like it doesn't seem I don't know why that's a good, why that would be a good idea or a bad idea yet it doesn't make any ready red, readily apparent sense to me yet well I know what makes sense to me is that no one's going to see me now for a couple of days um <laughs> Because I am definitely, it's, I'm definitely. As soon as we disconnect this, I'm running out there and I am downloading this shit and I'm playing this uh, tonight. So I may not even get any sleep tonight um, because I'm gonna be doing that. Um, and my goal is to create a porthole uh, to the netherworld. So uh, uh, we're still recording this, right? Mm-hmm. So th- this is my ultimate goal. Now that Tyson has shown this to me, and I see how cool it really is, because I really didn't know what the uh, what the premise of this game was. I thought it was just to to build stuff or whatever, but now that I know that there's like a cool underworld and there's a dragon and stuff like that, oh yeah, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be gone for days. So uh yeah. Mission accomplished. <laughs> yes. Just like well just, it was just like when I first uh downloaded and played um uh Fortnite when I created my first uh castle. Um uh I would be sitting there, you know, uh uh doing whatever it is i'm doing and uh i noticed that uh hours have gone by not just one hour or two hours i'm talking like hours and i'm like oh my god um so that that's how uh in depth that game can get and uh yeah (sighs) cool i'm glad it looks fun would you like to try to do this again sometime or like where you have like you Absolutely. Like, you can make suggestions of what I should do next, that kind of thing. You know, like uh, this yep. is really like at this stage, I don't know that you would wouldn't even know what to, you know, to, to ask. I'm not saying you know what to ask, but I don't know if you would know what to suggest even at this stage. But at some point you might because you'd be like, have you tried blah, blah, blah? And I'd be like, I don't know if I have tried blah, blah, blah. But, no. Yeah, absolutely. We, we could try this again. Okay. I mean, there are other games. If it weren't something we had to do at night, uh, then uh, I would have to worry about, like, I don't think... It, it's really faint. Oh yeah. No, I can hear it. I can hear it though. Got a hair there, there, there. Nice. I saw that. Oh, you cut the uh, the long hair off. Yeah, I'm Tyson from Earth One again. Yes, Tyson from Earth, uh, Earth One is back. Hi, hi, folks. And you found out <laughs> on a non-antisocial show episode. Yeah, we did. Um, but that's okay because you know what? Whether it's a, a, a an episode of Antisocial Show, a non-episode of Antisocial Show, uh, uh, an episode of Tyson Sander Gamer. A non-episode of Tyson uh, Saner Gamer. It's all one thing anyway, so it's, you know, hopefully we can get the people interested in both uh, Tyson Saner Gamer and, of course, Anti-Social Show, which would, of course, be the ultimate goal of this. Right, and then so, any future projects that you have, if you were going to do gaming stuff and put it on YouTube, uh, you know, this would be a good idea. Like, people, if you're watching this on YouTube, which is mad, the only place I imagine you're watching it is, uh, you know, do you want to see more of these? Leave, leave it in the comments, you know, uh... Uh, to let us know, uh, go watch episodes of Andy's Social Show. Go watch, uh, you know, uh, listen to Succotash. Yes. Uh, go watch uh, Laura's uh, Game Me Outside My Comfort Zone over at um, uh, Sexy Laura 27 Games, which is on screen now because I probably put it on there. And I guess I, I'll do an Andy Social Show style wrap up. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, that's about all the time we have for Andy Social Show, which this isn't, but we are from Andy Social Show and for Tyson Saner Game. Well, I'm Tyson Saner. Uh, for Anti Social Show, I'm Hunter Block. Uh, be decent to each other. Absolutely. Peace. Have a good time, folks. 